Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Dig for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. Uh, Brink has just died in a very sudden and unexpected twist right at the end of the last episode. He fell down from the canyon area into this, well, it looks like some sort of cave or... I'm not sure what it is yet, there's glowing plants and stuff. Uh, yeah, and he died, um, which I did not see coming at all. It was a complete shock. Seems like a shock in the comments as well for you guys who are watching who haven't played the game before. Um, so I don't really know what to expect now. Um, so let's crack on. I don't know if we're going to bury him. I think we probably should, but, you know. You could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. No, apparently we're just going to leave him here, okay. Um, I don't know if we can maybe do this. It won't accomplish anything. No, okay, we're literally going to leave his dead body there, so... Sorry, Brink. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt to. Ooh. The plants seem to draw energy from my body and disperse it among all the plants. That's interesting. They must share a common root system. Yeah, like a... A hive mind type thing maybe oh there's a door here and a panel uh so all these plants are sort of like one being perhaps it's an interesting oh okay there's an alcove here as well wow this place is huge there's an alcove there's another sealed door there's another panel another sealed door uh, a column Wow, okay, this place is pretty big. So there's a column there. Another sealed door of a panel. What's this? Oh, so this is a bit like the rod we got before. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Interesting. Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. <laughs> With my luck, it's a hand grenade. <laughs> yeah. It's not been... So, we've got two of these now, then. So, do they appear to be... I mean, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, potentially five? And I only say that because I've noticed there's some markers on these walls that have seem to have a certain amount of dots. So, I wonder if we can use them... Oh! Interesting. So that one we can actually It's a rod engraved five geometric shapes. Weirdly we can look at this one up close. Uh why is there a green one on there? Can we replace the green one with this blue thing? It's pointing behind me. Oh, it's like a compass. That's interesting. Another sealed door. Wow, there's loads of them. And there's a dark tunnel. Okay. What about the other direction? Well, this place is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, I'll be honest. What's the deal with this column as well? Somebody spent a long time engraving these smooth grooves on the surface of this column. I wish I knew what for. Hmm. That's true, actually, yeah. You can see it's been engraved with a special pattern. In fact, everything here has been, really. So there's a sealed door. That looks like it's got some sort of entrance above it. So let's take a look in the other direction, because I think that's where... Oh, oh God, I've forgotten her name. The reporter went, isn't it? There's a plate here. Is this like the plates we had before? Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Yeah, it is. Okay. So maybe we've got to place that somewhere then. Uh, there's all these panels... Oh, okay, this looks like it... So is it a circle? Is that what's going on here? Like, it's technically a circular room? I don't think I want to kick this door in. No, but can we do anything with this? Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, so they warp into shapes. Oh, interesting. And they also change colour. Okay. Hmm. 
That's very interesting, actually. Uh, weird. So, I mean, this had a certain colour combination on it. There. So it's like a blue circular one, a blue diamond, a green square, and then a blue square. So, do we potentially have to put that combination in? As a sort of thing? Can we look at it here and do that? So, blue... That looks like a sort of one, two, three, four, five. A blue hexagon, a blue diamond, a green square, and well, it's not a square, it's a cube, but you know what I mean. So let's go to blue. So it's a blue. It's like that, isn't it? Blue that. Um, what was the second one? I've forgotten already. <laughs> Uh, okay, a blue diamond, a green cube, a blue cube. So let's get the blue cube. I mean, I don't know if this is right. I don't know if there's a specific door we have to do this on. Uh, sorry, one of the... Oh, I clicked it one too many times. No. I'd already clicked the second time, and I knew I was going to do it as well. Okay, we'll cycle back round anyway. It doesn't take too long. There we go. And then it was a green cube and a blue cube, wasn't it? Green cube. Blue cube. Now it could be that we have to do this on the right door for it to work. Okay, so we've done it. And nothing happened. So we copied that pattern and literally nothing at all happened. So that must be the wrong door. And it could be that this thing is a compass and it's telling us which door we need to use it on. And it just so happens actually that it seems to be pointing at something. So let me just walk a bit further and I'll see if the direction it points at changes at all in the invent. It may not. Right, is it still no, okay, it still points in the same direction. It's pointing behind me. Should we try this one, seeing as it's the one that we found the stick right by? Oh, this one looks different. Okay, so it was the blue hexagon shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Yeah. And then it was the blue diamond. So let's go to blue diamond. Then it was the green cube. It's a shame you can't sort of cycle the other way. Because you've got to go through the oranges, then the greens, and then the blues. It's a shame you can't sort of go backwards. But anyway, let's do blue cube. Blue cube. Uh, again, nothing seems to be happening. I don't suppose it has anything to do with this. It's like a power source. Can we... Oh, we can't actually click that plant, weirdly. Uh, are there any of these plants nearby that we can click? I wonder if, if it takes some energy, whether it can use that energy to power the doors. Doesn't look like it. It all, this is a weird panel. That almost looks like an arrow, doesn't it? And it's also a differently shaped door. Okay, well, let's try the dark tunnel then. Seeing as we're here. Uh, what was that? Yeah, so they do sort of have shapes on. Yeah, so I wonder if this is technically meant to be a round room. Oh, oh there's a ramp going down. All right, let's try the dark tunnel first and then we'll try the ramp. 
Oh, that's what the flashlight's for. Ooh. Well, this is spooky, isn't it? Very spooky. I'm expecting something to jump out. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I don't think it's that type of a game. What's that shadow? Looks like a person. Oh, it's a rock. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, there's a lot of that blue stuff on the walls here. Whoa! Check out this place. Is this ice or is it like crystal oh there's some strange noises going on down here oh what's this is it encased in the it's an airlock door there is an airtight seal between these two rooms Right, so that's almost like a pressure chamber. What's hang on, what's down there? Oh no, it's just the airlock door. Can we go down here? No. Can we press this button? Ah, I think that opened. It did? There is an airtight seal between these two rooms. Right, so do we have to press this to seal it? Yeah, it looks like it. Can we open this up? There is an airtight seal between these two rooms. Uh, okay. Can we not? It's far too solid for me to be able to force it open. Right, so perhaps we need to power it up in some way. Can we use this thing? There's a signal here, but I'm not getting a clear reading. Right, so it seems like... It doesn't point in any direction. Seems like all this crystal-looking stuff might be interfering with the signal, then. Oh! That worked! This looks like a command center. Ooh, what is this? There's window- are we on the water? I can see a tunnel that connects to the island I just came from. We are, we're underwater. Well, this is amazing! <laughs> This is so good. Anything this way? Oh, that's the tunnel. Look, that must be There's an undersea tunnel leading into the base of a nearby island. Ah. Right, so it doesn't look like you can go any further that way. I wonder what this thing is in the middle here that we just saw. This. It's a glowing panel. I wonder if it's somehow connected to those glowing plants we saw. Anything this way? I see many undersea tunnels, all leading from the large central island to the smaller islands. Right, so it seems to be a planet that has lots of islands, but you can travel to them using our underground tunnel systems. Which is very interesting. I see many undersea tunnels, all leading from the large central island to the smaller islands. The question is, can we use this thing down here? There's a signal. No. But I'm not getting a clear reading. It doesn't point in any direction. I'll be honest, I'm starting to see why everyone loves this game so much. I know I know some people weren't overly keen on it, but I am so hooked on the story. And the exploration, all this kind of stuff is just fascinating. Right, so there's crystals here. And there's some holes here as well. It's an energized crystal. It's an energized crystal. It's an energized crystal. Right, so they're all energized, aren't they? This crystal is lifeless. That one's run out of energy. Now I wonder, could the tusk be a crystal? That won't fit. That won't fit. No. That won't fit. Okay, well it's worth it trying. Won't accomplish anything. I can't use these two things together. Is there a way we can get this crystal out of here? I can't use these two things together. Perhaps this needs to be powered up in some way. It's where all the crystals meet. 
this is dead. These four are all glowing. It's almost like a star shape. So I wonder if this is like power. There's power to these four things, but not to this. And I wonder how we can power that up. I don't suppose we can use any of these things. It won't do anything. That won't fit. No. Okay. Can we use the gold one in any way? It won't do anything. That won't fit. That won't fit. No. That won't fit. Okay. So it could be that we need an item that we just haven't got yet, which is very possible seeing as we've literally just got here. I'd be surprised if we had everything that we needed. So, I wonder why this is under an airlock, by the way. That, to me, is a little strange. Right, so we're back out now. Let's airlock this again, just in case. We couldn't go this way, could we? No? Okay. So, could it be that there's five stations similar to this one? Or maybe this is the control one in the middle, and there's five stations dotted around the planet, but only four of them are powered up. So maybe we're going to have to find a way of powering them up. Let's head down this ramp next, because we haven't been down here. What is this? Ooh! Okay. It's hot here. And it's glowing down there. Interesting. Wow. Check that out. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. What is that? All I need to do now is to what find is this the light thing? switch. Or the plug. Or the fuse box. Or whatever makes this thing work. Right, so perhaps that control. An instruction manual might help. <laughs> Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. <laughs> jukebox and a cold beer or just a starship headed for home that's a lot of demands <sighs> get a grip boston there was something down there um maybe that control panel we just saw is linked in some way to all of this what was that there's the edge there's a triangular button here nothing happened okay don't suppose this triangular shaped it won't accomplish anything no all right uh so the nexus is the top bit i'm guessing so there's a button here that we what's this edge about is that just to look down again apparently it is yeah so i don't know if you guys can see my normal mouse cursor oh there we go unattached lens there it is so can we do anything I about can that see a lens way down at the bottom So, ooh, a lens, the lens slot. Is missing. Right. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. So it seems like those there should be three things going on here, but this lens. No, I can see four. A lens way down at the bottom. So it seems like there should be a lens here, but it's fallen out. So we need to have a way of getting that lens. But how do we get it? That's the question. Um, let's look at, back up at the edge. So we need to find a way to access that lens. So that lens is going to be key in some way. Uh, I don't. I don't want to click on the edge again. Whoops. <laughs> Hot, glowing. Hot and glowing. Yeah, I wouldn't. the power source. Maybe I'm on the edge of hell. There's nothing you can click on in the middle either, which is strange. I wonder if there's anything over to the right. I wonder if that triangular button doesn't work as well because that lens isn't... Ooh, there's a loose plate here. Ooh, a blue crystal. Now, is that a replacement for that one that we found that was missing? That's the cool little flashlight I got from the Right. So is that off now? No. It's still on. Hot, glowing. 
So that didn't affect the power source. Maybe I'm on the edge of hell. So that didn't affect anything at all. It's very interesting. I've got to say, I, this is really, really, really fascinating me, this whole game. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't suppose this will work now. Nothing happened. No. Okay, uh, was there anything before we head up over to this right area? Doesn't look like it, no. Okay, let's head back up to the Nexus then. So the question is, what will that blue crystal it seems to be some sort of energy source so perhaps we can put it into that control panel we just found a minute ago also where did the reporter go she wandered off in this direction but she's literally completely disappeared and our good old friend is still here plus there's this alcove we'll have to check that out as well uh, but i think we'll call it there for this episode because we're pretty much out of time so in the next one we'll start off by checking out what this alcove is maybe we have to put the shard in there maybe it's like that sort of thing again but we shall see so yeah i am loving this game so much i can't wait to play more discover more of it and find out what the hell is going on here it is I'm, i am completely hooked and i'm loving every second of it but that does it for this one, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.